Hey, welcome. It's our final um, guest here with us today, and we have Jola Grace Emanuel. She is the soul doctor, is what they call her. You'll see why in a bit. Uh, she helps trauma victims, the broken, emotionally wounded, and also abused to heal and reinvent themselves for an excellent life. Now, Jola Grace is also passionate about the health and uh, healing of the soul. Uh, she's a mental health advocate, a certified life and trauma recovery coach, and she's right here. You're welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. Jola Grace, that's a compound name, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Good. You. Today we're talking about um, uh, the emotionally wounded and uh, how to deal with trauma. Yeah. yeah. First off, not many people understand what trauma is. Mm. When they hear trauma, it's something physical. To have that relate to anything mental is very hard to describe, but I'm sure you're the expert. So what exactly yeah. is trauma when it comes to our, our emotional health? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's nice to be here. So man is a traumatized being. So every human being, we're three in one. Mm. You have a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. Mm -hmm. Now, your soul consists of your mind, your will, and your emotions. Mm, okay. right? And oftentimes in our journey in life, we go through situations that sort of affect our soul, cause us our souls to be wounded. So the same way we get physically wounded, you know, you're walking on the road, something happens, you break your leg, you break your arm, you have a cut. The same thing happens with our soul. We go through life, we go through experiences, somebody betrays you, somebody disappoints you. Mm -hmm. You go through childhood abuse, you go through uh, physical abuse, domestic abuse. All of that causes, all of that causes a wound in your soul. So the same way you, you feel, the same way you feel that pain in your leg, the same way you feel that pain in your hand, is the same way there will be a cut inside mm. your soul when you go through any kind of pain. Mm. So uh, basically trauma is just uh, a response mm. to stressful, negative experiences that we go through in life. So how do we deal with it? Like I understand how I can deal with a physical wound. Mm. Now, this is my mental state here and I yeah. don't have a band-aid to go in there and <laughs> place it across. Yeah. So how to deal with it? Yeah, which is why it's a lot of people find it difficult to actually heal, you know, when it comes to their emotions. And um, some people actually have suppressed their emotions, they've repressed it, they've told themselves, no, I'm all right, nothing is wrong with me, you know, I'm fine. But just the same way you can't tell yourself you have a physical wound that you're fine, it will, something will happen in the future that will remind you that you have that wound. So first of all, you need to accept that you have a wound, that you have an emotional wound, that something has happened to you and it's okay. All right, not to be okay, which is why a lot of people feel, especially when we talk about mental health in this part of the world, people think that, ah, no, nah, it's people who are crazy. That yeah. talk to. But absolutely not, because the same way that you, you, uh, you, will, be, you will be hurt if mm -hmm. physically, if you're wounded, is the same way you'll be hurt emotionally. So first of all, accept mm -hmm. that something is wrong and that you need help because you cannot heal what you have not accepted. And, you know, for me, in my own life, I've actually gone through trauma as well. Yeah, the, the, we the, the fact that um, I'm, I'm not a, 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 a life, certified life and trauma recovery coach, I went through 16 years of domestic violence and abuse. Oh, and for me, in that period, I experienced everything, you know, that trauma can be. Mm. And so coming out of that, you know, going through the process of healing and reinventing myself, uh, that is why I said I'm passionate about the health and the healing of the soul, because there's a large difference between being in that dark place, you're not able to function properly, you have strained relationships, uh, your cognitive is not functioning well because you keep have, having flashbacks, you keep you know, bleeding on people who didn't cut you. you know, uh, sometimes, that's why we say, if you don't heal from what hurts you, you will bleed on people who haven't caught you. Ooh. And a lot, of people, a lot of relationships are strained today because people are caring about emotional wounds. I'm gonna put a pin in it there. Now that we've established what trauma is mm. and how real it is, Let's do a very short break, and when we get back, we'll still be with Jella Grace, and we'll still be talking about managing trauma emotionally. You're welcome back. It's still our motivation segment here. I'm still joined by Jella Grace, who's well behind the scenes telling me about her very interesting life from before. But uh, let's talk about our topic today: managing trauma. Yeah. Now we've talked about, we've defined what it is. We've also talked about the fact that it's something that we need to heal from to be able to move forward. Otherwise, we're putting our baggage on other people yeah. throughout our entire the span of our relationships. Absolutely. As we go. Um, now, but there is a certain thing where people from different generations experience trauma and deal with it differently. Mm. Um, my generation is, well, hey, generation, very classic <laughs> millennial. Mm. Um, I experience and deal with it very differently from what the Gen Alphas and Gen Zs yeah. experience now. Yeah. Is there a template to dealing with trauma? Um, it's just like asking me if say, people from 
you know, back then or people now, is there a way to treat the wound that you have in your leg? It is absolutely the same thing because we are all human beings. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier on, you have a spirit, you have a soul and you live in your body. And your soul consists of your will, your mind and your emotions. And when people are in that dark place where you start to feel low, you start to feel you can't do anything, your, soul, your, your mind is affected. Your cognitive functioning is affected. So you can't reason the way you're supposed to reason. You will struggle at work. Some people will find that, that their performance at work just drops mm -hmm. because the trauma is there, the pain is there. They can't seem to get past it. A lot of people have sleepless nights. You can't sleep because you're anxious. You're living in fear. You're panicking because you keep having flashbacks of the experience you went through. And a lot of people actually went through childhood abuse and which they never did anything about it that is true. growing up as an adult they find that they are struggling through life they're struggling that some people have you know anxiety they're anxious some people you know they want to just hold on to people that don't leave me because somebody left them their primary caregiver let them when they were young so they want to cling to every relationship in their lives and the other person doesn't understand why you're behaving like this mm -hmm. and they see that they struggle because i normally say that there are five basic soul needs especially when the child is growing between the age of zero and seven, right? The need for love, the need for attention, the need for affection, the need for care, and the need for appreciation. Wow. Every human being is a need, it's not a want. Mm -hmm. That is why if you're driving on the road and you allow somebody to pass and the person just drives off and doesn't you say like hi, uh, say thank you rather, you'd be like, can't even say thank you. Why, <laughs> why, do, you, why, you, why do you feel that? Because yeah. it's a need, it's a basic human need. We all just have that need, they need to be loved. It's not a want, mm -hmm. you know, and especially when a child is growing up and they don't have that, they grow up to be a dysfunctional adult. Okay, okay. so um, Jill, how do I then heal from trauma? And mm -hmm. this is a question that should span an entire show. Absolutely. Hours. <laughs> but succinctly, how can I deal or heal from mm -hmm. trauma? So first thing I said is accept, right, that there's a problem and it's okay for you not to be okay, right? It's, there's there's okay no problem. It's okay for you not to be okay. Yeah, absolutely. It's okay for you not to be okay, right? And then secondly, seek help, right? Seek professional help. Mm -hmm. Because uh, a lot of people sometimes go to people who they look up to and say, oh, this person, I look up to this person, this person will be able to help me. But I can't go to my uncle, for instance, who is not a medical doctor, to perform an operation on me. Because yes, I look up to him, he's my uncle, but doesn't have the skill, skill set to help to, to perform an operation on me. So go for go for professional help. Go to environments where people can inspire you, where you can get the knowledge, right? A lot of people is what we don't know that is killing us. They say what you don't know can't hurt you. It's right. a lie. Actually, what you don't know. So get the knowledge, you know, go to uh, uh, um, meetings, uh, programs, you know. Right. Uh, there's one I'm, I'm putting on uh, coming this coming Sunday at Four Points by Sheraton. It's called Revenge to Excel. Okay. It's an environment that you will learn, you will heal from that pain. You, because some people don't even know that the pain is there because it happened so long ago mm -hmm. and it's become the abnormal yeah. because your normal can be abnormal and you might not know. Mm -hmm. but when you expose yourself to programs like this, to professional help, they can help you dissect what exactly the problem is and provide a solution because healing is a journey. It's not, one, it's not a one day thing because what happened to you happened to you over time. So you need to be patient. I tell my clients, you need to be patient with yourself in your journey of healing. Oh, that's very interesting. First of all, not being okay is Thank okay. You. Absolutely. Secondly, accepting the fact that you actually are undergoing trauma. She's a strong person that seeks for help. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people think that, oh, you know, I, I was talking with someone yesterday. I said, men don't cry. I said, no, actually, <laughs> real men do cry mm -hmm. because they have emotions. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. Will you be here again next week to perhaps maybe talk about this and some yeah else. if not next week maybe some other time because yes there's so much that we can't cover <laughs> absolutely in this space here yeah that we really need to talk about for mm. everybody to actually mm. understand what trauma is yeah there are many people out there who are going through stuff they don't know why they're reacting that mm. way, but that's really the problem absolutely yeah uh, it's been fantastic having you here thank you so Apologies much that we can't stretch the <laughs> but it's i'd okay. love to have you back so not a problem at all that's well fine. uh tell you what we're going to do you're our last guest. We've been preparing something inside of the kitchen for a very long time, Ooh. all morning. Oh. And um, I would like to reward you by uh, bringing you over to the kitchen to taste Oh my goodness, would that's like amazing. That? Yes. All right, yes. please, let's bring you over. All right then, welcome back to the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen. And you're also welcome. Thank you. Chef Walia has been hard at work here and we've been fanning the flames here mm -hmm. yes. because we needed this to cook on time. And <laughs> thankfully, flames. we got it done. Mm.
This is our going and our going sauce. Mm. I love the way you pleaded the plantain. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, very cute. <laughs> and then this, this gave it kind of like. Yeah. yeah, like it made it look like oh, you're gonna order me to pay fifty thousand for this. Place. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. Everybody yeah. looks forward to the oil spilling whenever they're eating ewa going. Is that spilt oil that they used to mix the beans? But we would like you to have a quick taste okay. and tell us what you think. All right, amazing. Right. Thank you. I love plantain. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. Yeah? It's really nice. Plantain, plantain you like. Plantain, 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 uh, plantain, plantain is the one thing that tastes pla the Plantain, everything. exactly. So, I mean, so you have to have plantain in your life. There's a twist to this plantain because it was fried in palm oil, yeah. oh. not vegetable oil. Yeah? That's why I said you should try it. Mm. Okay. All right. That's different then. That's different. All right then. Does it have your plantain? I can't, I can't really taste Tell the, the difference. difference. Okay. To be fair. All right. But it has like a peppery feel to it. All right. Is it pepper palm oil used? Is it pepper? Um, no. Uh, okay. no. Maybe it's the sauce then. The sauce. <laughs> yeah, very but it's really nice. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's right. been a great show. Thank, thank you very you. much for joining us for a Monday. And thank you for choosing the one that saw my re return. Mm. The King's Return. Um, wow. Yeah. Somebody thank you so much King for the show. Please join us tomorrow, <laughs> bright and early 7 a.m. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.